Are you a Stark or one of those dastardly Lannisters? Prove you're the mother of dragons with 15 questions on Game of Thrones on this mini episode about the hit HBO show. This is Trivia with Buds. Be it what? And welcome to a mini episode of the Trivia with Buds podcast. I'm your host, Ryan Buds. We put out a full-length version of this show every single Tuesday, and every single Thursday, we put out these mini episodes, which are just trivia-based. 15 questions today. The theme is Game of Thrones. If you want new episodes of the full-length show on Tuesdays or the mini episodes on Thursdays, the easiest way to do that is to subscribe to the podcast. Just hit subscribe, rate, review, and subscribe, and uh, share with a friend. That would be super helpful for me. We have 15 questions for you on Game of Thrones. We're going to do the questions, then I'll tell you a quick story about me and Game of Thrones, and then we'll dive into the answers at the end so you can check over what you got right and wrong. And you can also send me your answers for a chance to win a pop culture art square from my good friend Drew A. Blank. The uh, prize pop culture art square this week is Elvira. So if you like the Mistress of the Dark, Elvira is a nice 10 by 10 inch square you can frame and put up in your man or woman cave. Uh, we have 80 other episodes of this show that are all named by the topics they are about. So you can go back on the feed and check out uh, some really fun things we've done in 80 episodes. Uh, mostly I want to promote today the on location episode. Sometimes I record this show uh, walking around like a convention or a showroom floor or uh, just live at a bar, maybe one of my live trivia locations. I'll have some audio from that. So check out episode 17. That was at the 2016 Designer Con in Pasadena, California, talking to artists and art fans about different pop culture trivia. You could check out episode 33. That was when I did a speech and a talk for some students at a program called Actors for Autism in Glendale, California. I talk about how I got from Chicago to LA and my different backgrounds uh, in entertainment-related jobs. And then we do some bonus Beauty and the Beast trivia on that episode. And you can also check out episode 53. It's about American history, the Simpsons, and sci-fi-related trivia that was recorded live at Pocock Brewing Company in Santa Clarita, California, where you can play trivia with me and my good friend Nate Weatherup every Wednesday, 7 to 9, for over a year now. Without any further ado, we're going to dive into 15 questions on today's topic, Game of Thrones. Here we go. All right, here are 15 questions on Game of Thrones, so listen to them, see if you can answer them on your own. You can write them down if you'd like to uh, kind of check your answers afterwards, if you're able to write, or if you're just driving around, you're on the treadmill, you just kind of listen to see what you got right and wrong. Here are the 15 questions on Game of Thrones. Question number one. What character on the show was a servant of House Stark and was known for speaking a single word? Question number one. What character on the show was a servant of House Stark and was known for speaking a single word? Question number two. Who is Catelyn Stark's father? Was it Lord Aaron, Lord Hoster, Lord Tywin, or Lord Edmer? Question number two. Who was Catelyn Stark's father? Was that Lord Aaron, Lord Hoster, Lord Tywin, or Lord Edmer? Question number three. What was Jon Snow's dire wolf's name? Question three. What was Jon Snow's dire wolf's name? Question number four. Who is a eunuch and known as the Master of Whisperers? Question number four. Who is a eunuch and known as the Master of Whisperers? Question number five. How does King Joffrey die? Question number five. How does King Joffrey die? Question number six. Which hand did Jaime Lannister lose? Question six. Which hand did Jaime Lannister lose? Question number seven, which character said it's hard to put a leash on a dog once you've put a crown on its head? Question number seven, what character said it's hard to put a leash on a dog once you've put a crown on its head? Question number eight, which house name rules over the Iron Islands? Question eight, which house name rules over the Iron Islands? Question number nine, what culture does Khal Drogo come from? Question number nine, what culture does Khal Drogo come from? Question number 10, what humanoid creatures are headed up by the Night King? Question number 10, what humanoid creatures are headed up by the Night King? Question number 11, what are the two youngest Stark kids' names? Question 11, what are the two youngest Stark kids' names? 
Question number 12, in what season does the Red Wedding take place? Question 12, in what season does the Red Wedding take place? Question number 13, what name does Brienne give her sword? Question 13, what name does Brienne give her sword? Question number 14, what is Ramsay's pet name for Theon? Question number 14, what is Ramsay's pet name for Theon? And question number 15, finish the quote, Lannisters always pay their blank. Question 15, finish the quote, Lannisters always pay their blank. All right, I'm going to tell you a quick story about me and Game of Thrones, and then we'll be back with the answers to these 15 Game of Thrones questions. All right, so I was thinking about Game of Thrones and how it relates to me, and I read the first book, A Song of Fire and Ice, on my honeymoon in Punta Cana, Dominican Republic, in 2011. I think I had just gotten a Kindle, maybe, at the time, and I had the whole first book downloaded and ready to go on the plane, and uh, we were on this island-type vacation, so I thought it'd be fun to read this book, and I ended up reading the entire thing. I really liked it. I thought it was great. Uh, I loved how the chapters with the different characters and the different points of view, which I think is uh, what works so well on the show as well, uh, when they just cut between the characters, and sometimes you don't see certain characters for a really long time. Uh, But somebody asked me recently, they're like, how did you finish a whole book on your honeymoon? Weren't you doing other stuff? And I was my response to that was we were there for 14 days and uh, we did all the activities, like all the water, uh, you know, activities you could do in a couple days. And it was a small resort and uh, there was not that much to do. And you can only have so much sex, right? On a honeymoon. You could do it a lot, but not like uh, every second of every day. So I was like, I'll, I'll read this book. So I read that, got the, the most tan I've ever been in my life. And I also beat Plants vs. Zombies on my iPhone, which was brand new at the time, which is crazy because that was seven years ago. Uh, anyway, great book, Game of Thrones. I never read any of the other books because the show got so popular. I just watched that and kind of caught up and it seems silly to waste the time reading the books. But I hear they're great. Maybe one day we'll go on a second honeymoon and I can start a clash of Kings. That's my story. Here are the answers. Let's dive into them. All right. Here are the answers to the 15 questions we asked on Game of Thrones on this special mini episode of the show. Remember, if you like this show, subscribe so you can get a mini episode every Thursday on a specific topic, and they're usually 10 to 15 minutes long. And then Tuesdays, we have the full length episodes, which are tons of fun as well. Usually, it's me interviewing a friend on Skype or in person. Uh, who has something to do with the entertainment industry uh, or maybe another guest from another podcast and that kind of stuff. So check that out on Tuesdays and the mini episodes on Thursdays. Here we go with the answers for Game of Thrones. Question one, what character on the show was a servant of House Stark and was known for speaking a single word that was Hodor, H-O-D-O-R, Hodor. That's uh, all he says most of the time. Number one, Hodor. Number two, uh, real quick about Hodor. I read online he was a, he's a big DJ in real life. So look that up for some fun pictures. Number two, who was Catelyn Stark's father? Was it Lord Aaron, Lord Hoster, Lord Tywin, or Lord Edmer? The answer was Hoster, or maybe it's Hoster? I'm not sure. H-O-S-T-E-R. Lord Hoster was uh, Catelyn Stark's father. Question number three, what was Jon Snow's direwolf's name? Ghost. Ghost was the answer. Uh, I am not totally caught up in the show, so I don't know if that is a, uh, a character, ghost, still around or not. You always have to say what was uh, the character's name, because most of these characters die all the time uh, throughout this series. Number four, who is a eunuch and known as the Master of Whisperers? That was Varys, V-A-R-Y-S, Varys, and uh, he has no parts down below. I think eunuch means no parts, doesn't it? Or does it just mean no balls? I'm not sure. Question number Five, how does King Joffrey die? He dies of poison. Someone poisons him at a big tournament, and uh, he chokes, and uh, it's a great ending for him. I should have probably said spoiler alert, but hey, this has been out for uh, a number of years now. Uh, King Joffrey dies of poison, number five. Number six, which hand did Jamie Lannister lose, his left or right hand? Uh, those were your choices, if you know uh, left and right hands. And it was right. He loses his right hand. Uh, Jamie Lannister, and uh, he has to learn to swing a sword with the other hand. Number seven, which character said it's hard to put a leash on a dog once you've put a crown on its head? That was, of course, Tyrion, one of my favorite quotable characters from the series. He's always saying fun stuff like that. Number seven, hard to put a leash on a dog once you put a crown on its head. Tyrion, quote. Number eight, which house rules over the Iron Islands? Greyjoy was the last name I was looking for. Greyjoy, or house name, I guess. Uh, number nine, what culture does Khal Drogo come from? Dothraki. Dothraki culture, number nine. 
Kyle Drogo just did a trivia party for a guy in Sunland who looks like Kyle Drogo, and uh, that's all I call him. I don't know if that's uh, <laughs> sensitive or not, but that's what he looks like, and uh, I don't think Dothraki is a real background, but maybe he's got a little in him. You never know. Number 10, what humanoid creatures are headed up by the Night King? White Walkers. That's what I was looking for. White Walkers. Number 10. Number 11, what are the two youngest Stark kids' names? Bran and Rickon. That's kind of a fun name. Rickon. Number 11, Bran and Rickon. Number 12, in what season does the Red Wedding take place? I remember there were a bunch of funny reactions to people watching this for the first time because it was so uh, heinous and surprising. And it was uh, the third season during season three, which is right about where I left off. I never finished the, I'm not up to date on the series either. It's one of those shows where I'm like, uh, I, I get to like season four in every show, Dexter, Breaking Bad, Game of Thrones. And I'm just like, yeah, this is great, but I got to do some other stuff. Uh, so I got to catch up. But this is, I think I maybe got through season four. Maybe I'm on season five. I don't know. How many seasons are there? A hundred? Here's number 13. What does the name, uh, what name does Brienne give to her sword? Oathkeeper was what I was looking for. Oathkeeper. That's what I call my uh, 2009 Hyundai Sonata with 244,000 miles on it because uh, I needed to keep an oath to keep running so I can save some money and maybe I'll make it to 300,000. You never know. Number 14, what is Ramsey's pet name for Theon? Reek, R-E-E-K. Like you reek of awesomeness, but uh, this guy is not experiencing awesomeness from what I remember on the later seasons that I am still on. Number 14, Ramsey's pet name for Theon, Reek. And number 15, finish the quote, Lannisters always pay their debts. That's the answer. Lannisters always pay their debts. So that's what we had for you today. I hope you did well. How did you do? Maybe you got all 15. Maybe you struggled on a few, like that name of Brienne's sword. Uh, send me your answers, whatever you did get right, if you wrote them down or texted them uh, in any way to someone. You can send them to me, ryanbuds at gmail.com. I'll pick one person who got all the questions right, and I'll send you a pop culture art square. Today's square is from one of the most popular gothic females in the world, Elvira, Mistress of the Dark. Great drawing by my friend Drew Blank. Follow him online. He's Drew Blank on everything. Uh, Tuesday, we're back with a full-length episode of the show with past guest Mike Bobbitt and his podcasting partner, Sam Gash. They're doing 20 questions on Scrubs and WWE's Attitude Era. So next week, definitely check that out on Tuesday. And next Thursday's mini episode is all about true love and love-related things, kind of tagging on uh, Valentine's Day from last week. Subscribe to the show so it shows up on your phone every Tuesday and Thursday. Thanks so much for listening. Thanks for telling a friend, and have a great rest of your week and weekend. Cheers.